There was no genetic test for his syndrome when he was born. There still isn't. Today I'm glad I never had to decide whether my strange and lonely boy ought to exist, because on his good days, Walker is proof of what the imperfect and the fragile have to offer. So if he's hitting himself at night, Walker responds to being, to being held and comforted, you know, uh, compacted. And if you could help him organize his body, then he can calm down. I step in, I nudge her and close the door again and bar it with my foot. Caring for a walker is a complicated thing to ask somebody to do, what with all the tubes and the feedings and the drugs. In a pinch, we tried babysitters. <clears throat> oh. A pathologically shy, limping giantess would appear at the door, and I would pretend that it was the most normal thing in the world to hand over our disabled son... And often our daughter... ...for a look after for the next six hours. Well, hello, one eye. <clears throat> Here is uh, his food, his clothes, his diaper, his playroom, his bed. He takes this syringe at that time, four cc's of that at that time, two cans of formula every four hours, which you administer like this, attaching this bit here into that bit there, and attaching this gizmo into this nozzle, etc. All I want to know is what goes on inside that off-shaped head, in that jumped-up heart, and every time I ask, he somehow persuades me to look into my own. Walker, dancing in the living room with Haley, who is brilliant and tall and gorgeous and smart. And Walker is over the moon, he's just so gone with happiness. 